Hey there, YouTubers. Unboxing video time. This is a guitar. Let's go ahead and get into it. Amazon Firefly SG. And I got this for $178. You know, you see a lot of reviews on these. This video, we're just going to unbox it. And I'll give you guys some close up looks of it. My plan is to uh, take the pickups out, potentially put EMG 81s in it, or maybe just one EMG in the bridge. Um, get the, uh, the chrome covered ones. So interesting, the box does not say anything about Firefly on the outside. I don't know if this was reboxed. Definitely out of tune, folks. Um, let us turn on this light. But yeah, um, looking at it up close and personal, looks halfway decent. Still got the plastic over the covers. I expect the uh, pickups to not be anything spectacular. Uh, I expect the tuners to be terrible. So we may replace those. You see the truss rod cover, classic. It's a nice looking guitar. Um, you know, it's a shame it's not a tune. We'd be rocking already, right? Let's flip it over. So it should say where it's manufactured at, which it does not. Design and back by JSN. So I don't know if these are Chinese. I would imagine they are, right? Because if this was Indonesian, it would be uh, probably even better. Set neck or glued neck, right? And this does provide really good access, um, really negative. So if you're interested in buying this and you're actually going to play these notes, look what is right there, your strap. So um, that could be a negative. So though you have access to 22 frets, I would say it's only comfortable playing maybe to uh, number 20. I wasn't really going to review this. Obviously, we haven't played it yet, but uh, that, you know, is a negative. Um, getting this plastic off is going to be a pain with the, with the strings on there. But So let's take a look at the nut. Interesting. I don't know how good quality that's going to be. Binding looks pretty decent, folks. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, how are the frets from the outside? So, it has not gotten used to the temperature here yet, but these are really nice, folks. I do not feel like these need to be shaved down like you see in all the other videos. People talking about that on these cheap guitars. Okay, maybe there's this one. This one needs to be shaved right here. Otherwise, they're good. So one bad one. Who knows how the uh, the frets are for buzz, but uh, all right. So the knobs, cheap plastic gizmos, rhythm treble. There's your jack. And how is that top? Um, it's not perfectly matched, obviously, but it looks pretty good. I forgot what the color is of this. I'll have in the title, but I did think that was pretty sharp, right? Um, thought about buying the green one. Then somehow I found this. And there is the cavity for the controls. We won't open that up. For now. 
What else is provided? You get a jack and then the little gizmo here. Pick up for your pickup selector. If I can get it out of here. Some additional screws. That's nice. Always losing those, right? Oh, wait. I don't know if this is one of the ones that comes with a pick guard, but it's not in. It is not in this plastic thing. In either eye, just. There it is. Okay. So we're going to screw that in. Uh, check out the links below. We'll have some places to uh, hear this thing. All right. I'm going to play it with a. Uh, what is it? A 10 watt, 15 watt amp, 25 watt amp. I uh, forgot the name of the amp we're going to use with it, but uh, we've got a couple amps. Maybe I'll do two different videos so you guys can hear the sounds of this thing. Maybe I'll compare it to a, a really good guitar like a Jackson USA or ESPM2. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.